WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of, well, mostly sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, Dan. I currently have all the U.S. indices that we track trading to the downside. Dow's up 96 points, well off of its session lows. S&P's down 31. NASDAQ 100, 172. Russell's down 14. Semis are down 14. Trend is up 162. So the winner out there, if you want to call it a winner, the least uh, decline is the uh, Dow. It's off uh, 0.3 tenths of a percent. Gold has gotten hit. It's off 22 bucks, a little over 1%. Silver's down 1 and 7 tenths percent, or 33 cents, trading out at 1860. Light to recruit is flat. Natural gas is up 8 cents, or 30 year treasury down 1 point and 5 ticks. She's printed out at 124, even Stephen. Let's go take a look at our nine panel market update chart. We begin by take a look at the ES mini. What do we know about it? Well, right now it is uh, trying to take out the uh, swing low from Octo uh, September the uh, October the third. That is that was the buy the D point level. And if price today closed below thirty five seventy one seventy five, that only gate that signal. There is a new profile that is attempting to form out there, uh, but each time I refresh it, it seems like it goes away, it comes back. So we'll have to come back to that maybe during the Trader's Edge show. If we take a look at the 30 year, uh, if we take a look at the spot volatility, it's still well above its 50 day exponential moving average. You know, it has a sell the D point pattern. It was this bearish engulfing candle on the trading session of September the 28th. Basically, price is trading with inside that uh, range out there. Now, the NQ, which has already negated its buy the D point pattern, it did that a couple of days ago. It's made the, about the 1 to 1.272A to B equal CD to the downside. It needs a bullish reversal candle to confirm a buy the D point as well as a Rhodes momentum indicator set. Signal. You've got the U.S. dollar index still above the top of its daily profile. That's still bullish and maybe targeting 114.74. Goldilocks, uh, if it closes below 1668.80 today, well, then the move lower is not just a counter trend move, but price did find support or appears to have found support at both the bottom of its daily and weekly profile. It didn't actually hit, get down to them. That would be in the 1641.90 to 1645.50 level. Silver testing the bottom of its weekly profile, and it has support down at 1823, and that is its uh, daily profile level. Lights we crude. What is she doing? It's just got a big old new daily profile that wraps around the prior daily profile. And that says expect or anticipate a consolidation. That's what we're seeing out here with regard to light speed crude. Natural gas still has its buy the D point pattern held support, which was at $6.30. But it's below the bottom of its daily profile. So to call it a bottom, somewhat suspect out here. The 30 year treasury holding support at 123.30. It closed below that. It could spell curtains to the downside. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you're off to start your Thursday, please have a terrific one. And thanks so much for joining us. Take care.